Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Seems like just about everyone is here tonight. We got Red, we got Rue, Noodle, Nate, all kinds of people in here. I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me for a bit. I hope you're not too let down by worms. <laughs> I really like worms, at least, but uh, I understand if it's not for everyone. It really is a game meant for, like, multiplayer play, I feel like less so single player play but we're gonna we're gonna make the best of it i was very surprised to see that you've never heard of it rue it is such a fun time also why is there a black bar on the side of the screen is something do i need to fix my capture card thing my upscaler because that is that is weird that should not be there like that um, I mean, that looks fine. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Let's see. Slot. Slot 10. No, it's still there. Maybe it's just this game. That is weird. Uh, nope, not, not output resolution. Scaling. Yeah, it's still there now, too. What? Why? Okay. Hopefully that's good. I don't know how many ga games that's been a problem in. Hopefully not too many, but I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, so let's get into it. Worms is a game about killing other worms with physics. <laughs> uh, well, with, with weapons, but you know, the weapons are physics enabled. There's a campaign? Okay, well that, that actually helps out a lot. I didn't know there was a campaign in this one, so that should help it be a little bit better for single player. Uh, do we have like previous? Go to next. Go to the next one. Okay, so it's locked. We can't we can't change missions or anything like that. I guess we just got to start game. So yeah, it's kind of like some of the flash games that you may have seen before with like tanks and things like that. But instead of tanks or whatever, you play as little worms, right? And then when it's your turn, you can move around your worm, you can select a weapon with your worm, and then you try to kill the other worms. And that's that's basically all there is to it. That's the that's the entire game. <laughs> it's like I said, it's really fun in multiplayer. Um, that's really like the the bread and butter of it, I feel like. But, you know. It'll be a bit different for everyone, I suppose. So this is, I guess, a D-Day based mission. All right, so yeah, so here we are. We we were our little worms. Do we have a menu or anything? We don't, we can't change any settings, at least not from in here. Dope, okay, so yeah, as you can see, we can move around. We got 50 some seconds to do so. There's wind down there in the uh, the bottom left. So you gotta, be, you gotta be conscious of that. Normally, like I'm used to playing on PC, uh, worms WMD is kind of my, my go-to. And that is a... Uh, 2d version of worms so this is this is all kind of weird to me i with that said i did play this with my brother at one point right after i picked it up so i do know at least a little bit about it these are all the different weapons that we can use um we'll save the homing missile and stuff till later i guess and right now we'll just we'll just shoot this so yeah so we're gonna shoot up here but there is drop and you can see the winds blowing back toward us so we're gonna have to like aim up a little bit higher than we think we are and as you can see, whenever you hit the ground or anything, there's actual, like, destruction, right? Like, the, the world actually kind of gets destroyed as you're playing, which is really cool. Um, honestly, it's a lot of fun. The uh, computer's definitely going to do a lot better than me <laughs> in terms of aiming. Because I'm, I'm not used to this whole 3D thing at all, man. Like I said, whenever I play this on PC, uh, it's always the the 2d one me and my brother were playing it together and it was rough like we we tried but it <laughs> it did not go so well for us i i fully admit ow my back what happened to your back rue what did you do uh okay 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 here's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna go right here and we're gonna aim i don't know so we got six i don't know if that's miles per hour kilometers an hour i have no idea but we're gonna aim like right there and hey there we go okay so that was that was kind of good that wasn't terrible at least and as you're playing like things get dropped into the world like supply crates health packs all different kinds of things 
uh, every once in a while, you'll screw up and kill yourself, you know? <laughs> that happens too, of course. <laughs> and if the, the, the computer character wants to do that, I'm perfectly fine with that, man. They can, they can screw themselves over as much as they want. I do not mind even a little bit. Uh, generally speaking, in worms, if you fall in the water, you're dead. So we're going to try and avoid that. There's also a shit ton of landmines right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Uh, okay, so we could try and like continue to throw missiles up there. But honestly, I think what we want to do here is maybe throw a grenade up. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, though, if it's going to have enough time to get all the way up there before it blows up. Or if it's even going to... Oh, that was damn near perfect, dude. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm, I'm really proud of that one. I'm not going to lie. I did not think I was going to make it up there. But that just goes to show, though, that we just barely have enough time to get a grenade up there. So we need, we need to uh, be careful trying and throwing grenades up there. Tools for fools, dude. Okay, so that's actually somewhere we could probably get to it if we wanted to. Right now, I'm just trying to progress forward a little bit because every time they hit the ground down here, it seems like it disappears a little bit. And I just don't want to get caught out with, uh, you know, without anything under my feet, essentially. Okay, so the wind's blowing, like, directly back at us. I want to aim up a little bit. That's probably too much, to be honest. I think it's going to go... Okay. Nope, that circled right back around. That's not what I expected. Did you see, miss, or ignore my message, says Noodle? Uh, I saw it. I saw it. I forgot to reply to it because I was setting things up. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to try playing Worms, love, you are more than welcome to. I am perfectly fine with that. I don't know if you're going to be interested in doing so at all, but you're welcome to try. I don't mind... Uh, murdering your worms <laughs> what the hell okay so we have seven that way we're closer now but as you saw like the the physics in this game like it'll it'll seriously fuck you over man like it's ridiculous yep see that damn near came all the way back around to us i'm just not used to how the physics work in this the 3d one at all I'm no professional in the in the 2D one either, but I'm not this bad at least. But yeah, so the whole thing is we're just gonna we're just we keep shooting up and we try to murder them as much as we can. Okay, so we need to shoot a little bit lower, I think. Maybe there-ish. That was that was okay. Just a little bit higher. They got a 10 on the wind speed. That's that's real bad, man. That's rough. But, I mean, they're PC. They'll probably be okay. They're not non-PC. NPC. Not PC. Your cat hates being brushed, but she got knots. So, you have to force her to lay down so you can get rid of them. You have to hold her down in a way that forced me to bend over and come my bag. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, do we do we go for another throw with this? Do we think, do we think it's going to work out again? I don't know, man. Let's try it, though. It, it worked out last time, right? Just sneak it on up in there. Okay, well, not as good as last time. <laughs> if you don't like the campaign, I can try to play after your broken food. How is your food broken? What? What does? How do you break food? I'm confused. I don't know how that works, man. I need. I need an explanation here. Oh, water is life. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. We're running out of time. Oh, God. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. So we have no wind. That's good. I'm aiming the wrong direction all of a sudden, though. That's not good. Um. Okay, can we get, like... Yeah. Like, right here, I think. Something like that. I, I want to get that guy, but we're definitely going to need to aim above him. Now, with that said, though, there's no wind. I don't know, maybe maybe right here. I'm thinking right here. Okay, that was a little low, but it dropped him down. It got rid of his vantage point. Did a little bit of damage too. 19, hell yeah, we'll take it. Absolutely lovely, but no vets ever believe me because she's too scared to be a bitch when she's there. Oh, God. 
You misread the measurements, so instead you're eating Alfredo soup. <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, love. Does it still taste good? At least, like, did you did you spice it up? Add some add some nom noms to it or something to make it uh make it a little bit better. Okay, I want to see what's in the box because sometimes you get like really cool weapons and stuff. Okay, we got jetpacks. Jetpacks are are fine. But, like, honestly, the NPCs are playing bad enough that I feel like we could just kind of hide down here and probably pick them off. With that said, though, we may end up needing to use the jetpacks at some point. I don't know, man. We're doing pretty decent at, at uncovering them there. In fact, is that one dead? I think that one's dead. G freaking G, dude. Scootsy? Scutsy? I don't know how to pronounce his name and i think he only has the three worms and look at that i mean he's uncovering himself for us <laughs> uh, uh okay so grenade to oh shit yep that that's what happens when you're not being careful you shoot yourself oh god i didn't mean to do that i meant to pull out the grenade is what i was wanting to do but I tapped the X button, and that is not what you wanted to do. So that that was on me. Okay, so we know that, like, makes it up there. But with the wind and everything, we're going to need to aim over a little bit. Maybe like that. Maybe. Okay, the wind seemed to do, like, nothing to it that time. Maybe the wind only really affects the rockets and not the grenades? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, we'll grenade up there with one and basically, like, just accept defeat with one of our worms. Oh, wait, 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 we got an airstrike, holy shit, hold on, we gotta do this. Oh, you're not playing the Superior Worms game? Yeah, so, uh, OptiJack and I, we played another Worms 3D game on console at one point. It was not good, like, not even a little bit, it was so bad. Worms Forts is the name of it. We'll end up playing it on here at some point. But oh my lord, it's just like the frame rate was trash. It was so slow. Doing like just anything in the game took forever to happen. The whole thing was just rough, man. It was a it was a really rough Worms game. Neat premise with being able to build up forts kinda as you play and whatnot. You you like capture points and then you can build things on it and, and whatnot. Like that sounded cool. But the execution just was not great. Not at all. It boiled over. You added some garlic and onion powder, chicken cube, and some soy sauce. It's pretty good. Hey, that's all that matters, man. As long as you like it, right? Uh, Nate said, you got sandfish for Stardew. It spawned during Night Market at Merchant. Hell yeah. Love to see it, man. Uh, okay. We want... We were going to jetpack up, but I mean, we have this homing missile here, right? So we can just, like, click on this guy, like, right here, like that. And then just, like, aim, like, I don't know, up here, like that or something. And, okay. Well, I was kind of hoping we would hit him a little bit better. Is 20 enough, though? How much health does he have? No, he still has 10 more health. Holy hell. We'll get him. On the topic of cats being bitches, you forgot to tell you, love. I stopped at my mom's work before to get cake she made. And while I was in the house, she called my sister, who was also in the house. And my sister asked if I was in the house. My mom... This, this <laughs> so much house. My mom was like, yeah, she is. Why? And apparently the cat was throwing a hissy fit upstairs because she heard me in the kitchen. For anyone who doesn't know, her sister's cat, Noodle's sister's cat, does not like her. <laughs> like, at all. Does not like Noodle at all. Also, OptiJack, something I just realized. I don't know if you ever noticed this while we were playing the game. Um, but there is totally auto jump. At least in the single player campaign. I'm assuming it's in the, uh, the multiplayer version too. But, yeah, like, if you just walk up to a cliff, it kind of jumps for you. You didn't know that either? Yeah. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that was in multiplayer or not, but it's totally working here, so... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna take this guy here, we're gonna go ahead and use the jetpack. And we're gonna try... Yeah, okay. We got this. I've never... I think this, this is my first time using the jetpack here but it's fine it worked okay and then pull out good old bazooka actually you know what we still have some jetpack let's just get like right up on him here there we go 
There we go. Okay. Back up just a little bit. A little bit like that. And a shotgun. Get that get that aim going real quick. I hope this does at least 10 damage. Poor guy. Doesn't know what's coming to him. <laughs> get wrecked, dude. That's uh, that's fun fact. That's exactly how uh, D-Day happened in real life. Oh, God. <laughs> F you keyboard, I fixed the space bar. You're still fighting with that uh, space bar? It's supposed to be my mom's cat, and you adopted her for your mom. But she chose your sister as her person. What is going on, man? What is with this cutscene in between the... <laughs> in between the missions? Is this is that an ad for a different game or something? What's with the frog? I've played a lot of 2D worms. I don't know what that frog is though, I'll admit. I have no idea what's going on there. I don't really know what any of this is that's going on right now. Did they just throw little skits in so that like you had something to watch in between missions? <laughs> uh Grenade? Oh, they were they were live grenades. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, mission success. Save. Yeah, sure. Save game. Why not? Um, I don't care. Are you sure you want to save? Yes. Save the game. I don't know, like, if there's unlockables or anything. Optijack, I don't know if you remember. Were there unlockables in this one? I feel like there may have been... But I don't remember for sure. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Back. What do we got? We got Crate Britain. What's this? Farmer Bogey Pete's farm hands have got their mucky mitts on our secret miracle grow formula stored on a nearby island and conveniently packaged in a rather tidy crate. The greedy farmer intends to drive us out of business with his oversized meat and veg. It's up to you to bend his cauliflower ear and fail his evil foil his evil plan. It may sound corny, but grow above the task and collect that crate. Okay, real quick, before we do that, though, is there an options menu? Can we change to, like, progressive scan, do anything? Uh, controller vibration? On, dude. Wait, I wanted to turn it on. Select to switch. S uh, what? Click? There we go. On. Save. There we go. Thank you. Warmopedia. Knowledge is power. Sound and video options. Visual options. This box represents the space required to play the game. Okay. So, no. There's basically... We can't change anything. Got it. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Single player menu. Go back to campaign. It was sticking for some reason earlier and you thought you fixed it, but you didn't. So, you had to take the key off and clean under it before putting it back and fixed it that way. At least you figured it out, right? Got it working. Hopefully. I'm sure how you pointed it off, but it seems that when you were overboiling your food, you managed to do that really good brown milk. I, yeah, so what Noodle's talking about, one time I was cooking something, I don't remember what it was, but I must have had the pan too hot, because I, I put the, the milk in and, you know, it was boiling whatever the hell I was cooking, and for some reason, some of the milk solids browned to the bottom of the pan, but, like, just browned it didn't burn at all and it it was just really good <laughs> like, it's really good i don't really know how to explain it i mean i just yeah it's kind of like i guess you know how whenever you uh like if you've ever heard of brown butter i guess it would probably be kind of similar to that like whenever you take butter and you you cook it a little bit it, it can brown some of the solids in it same sort of thing but with milk i guess like I said, I, I honestly don't know. It's it's weird, but it tastes fantastic. So, um, bazooka to the face, maybe? Is that going to do at least 30? Did I hurt myself there? I think I hurt myself there. <laughs> well, Alan's dead at least. Bye-bye, Alan. I'm not sure if we screwed ourselves there or not. Oh, why do they Let's get the freaking right. cluster bombs? I don't think I get cluster bombs. Pretty sure it was a dish we normally make too, and we were like, this is way better than normal. I don't remember what it was at all. I just remember that, yeah, it was weird, but it was really good. Okay, so what other weapons do we have? We have the homing missile. We got a blowpipe. I don't know what that's for. Freeze. Landmines, dynamite, and sheep. Landmines are fine. Fine, fun. 
but you got to get like close to someone for that to really matter. This character seems mostly protected kind of where he's at. So I'm just going to move back a little bit so he's even better protected and start going for like Bogey Pete slash Ian, I think is what I'm going to do. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Just need to go up a little bit more and yeah. You can see the little bits of brown in it. It had to be the milk. Yeah, there was nothing else like in it. It was just, like I said, I don't remember what it was, but the only thing that could have browned like that in it was milk. So it had to be brown milk. <laughs> Browned milk, not brown milk. But uh, that's just, what, chocolate milk? Anyways, point is, it was it was really good, man. Like, it was. It was really, really good. You got your full Walmart refund. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome, honestly. Really happy to hear that. They didn't screw you over. That's perfect. How did you do it? Do you even know? Like I said, I, I didn't do it on purpose. I think I just had the pan way too hot and wasn't stirring like the bottom of the pan enough. So it just kind of browned, you know? That's the only thing I can really think of. Okay, so the wind is blowing the other direction now. So we want to go straight over and then I think up a tiny bit more and then full power. We're going for, we're going for Boggy Pete. Hey, that was pretty close. We're doing all right. We do not tolerate the Walmart in your area is normally like F you, so that's rare. It's extremely easy to scorch milk too, so you wouldn't recommend re uh, replicating it. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I was I was surprised that it wasn't burnt, but it was just perfectly browned. <laughs> it was really good, and I'm sure like there's probably some proper cooking term or something for it, but I don't know. I've never I've never done it before. I've never seen anything like that before. All I know is is that it was good, and I'm not complaining about it. Uh. Ah, uh, we should have went in the hole. Oh, that was enough to kill him, though. Scorch. Uh, scald. Scald milk? I mean, scorch, I guess, would work. But I think normally you would say scald. I don't know. Scald may have more to do with, like, the liquids, though, than the actual solids. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Why are we holding a grenade? <gasps> we had a limited number of rockets? I didn't realize that. That's a problem. Okay, you know what? In that case, homing missile, this guy that's up here, I feel like it's going to be harder to get to. So, yeah, screw you, dude. Ian. No one likes you, Ian. The only scald you know is the Pokemon move. Dude, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, no, my homing missile. It's a homing missile. That's not supposed to miss. <laughs> oh, bro. I'm so mad right now. Hmm. LMAO. Yeah. Yeah. Real funny. Uh, <laughs> we don't even have like a jet pack or anything to get over there. Uh, we do have some cluster bombs though. I think these are infinite. I'm hoping they're infinite. Where, where's the dude bro at over there? Okay. Let's, uh, let's throw you like right there ish. Okay, that went right in the water. We actually threw it too high, it looks like. What's this, our kid? Sounds like Adam Ragusea. It's like something Adam Ragusea would talk about. Or Alton oh, Brown, yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just get good. Get good, mate. Um. Okay, what else do we have? We're not, like, we can't get over there to use the shotgun. What's the blowpipe? Does this work over long distance? I'm going to assume it doesn't, but we're going to try it anyways. Oh. Wait, it did. It totally worked over long distance. He's poisoned. Screw you, Ian. <laughs> I'm really surprised, honestly. I've never used the blowpipe before. I didn't even know that was a thing until now. I hope that poison, like, lasts a long time. Also, I think we need to get him, like, a little bit farther inland before Ian really screws him up. Uh, you know what? No, we're fine. We're fine. We don't even need to move. Everything's going to be okay. Just throw a little bit lower, a little bit to the right, a little bit lower than that even. Like, I don't know, right here-ish. Something like that, maybe. Where's he at? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, at least Ian's dead one way or another. 
Uh, I think the next time it's Dave's turn, we're just gonna walk over and try and drop a stick of dynamite on, on, uh, whatever his name is. That, that guy over there, Dennis. Cause screw Dennis. Uh, okay, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna try and blowpipe him again. As fun as that may be, we're just gonna do, I guess, a cluster bomb. I don't see this ending well, just to be honest. There's no wind. Uh... Uh, yep, that went right over his head. <laughs> that went way too far. Okay. That went well. I mean, he's, unless he suddenly gets cured from poison, he's dead anyways. We just gotta not die to him first, which, ooh, he's getting real close, though. We should probably move Patrick out the way before, you know, Patrick gets dusted. All right, it's fine. We're gonna, Dennis, I got... My eye on you, you are fucked, sir. There is fall damage, so I need to be careful jumping too high. Because when you take fall damage, your turn ends, and then you're fucked. <laughs> that sucks, dude. I didn't think that was going to be enough. Of course, I didn't also know I was going to jump that freaking high either. That's all right. Apparently, he can't throw for shit, so it's fine. Dennis is a known menace. This is very true. I can't even argue with you there, man. Dennis is a menace for sure. Uh, can we like the camera just maybe move back a little bit? Why is the camera so close? I would like... Oh, oh, you can change the timer on the bombs. We were wondering about that. Optijack and I were. Or at least I was. I think Optijack mentioned it too. Or maybe I just said something to him. I don't remember. Oh, God. This is not where you want to be. Um, help. Come on, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, nope. Nope. Don't fall in the water. Okay. Look, we're alive <laughs> at the very least. Honey. Okay. Yep. Watch this one. I, I, I don't think that's going to end well at all. Nope. Right in the water. Oh, it still blew up, surprisingly, but whatever. How are you not dead yet? Die already, whatever your name was. You were Googling brown milk, and one of the things that came up says any dairy can be brown like butter. Yeah, I mean, it all has milk solids in it, right? Because that's what's browning in, in butter, I, I believe. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what's browning in, in butter is the, uh, the dairy solids. Get out of there! Run! <laughs> Screw you, Dennis. <laughs> he's a lot. Okay, no, he's gonna die to damage, though. He has to die to damage. Okay. Yeah, 77. Dynamite hurts. I expected him to kind of go in the water, though. But, anyways. Yeah, yeah, anyways. That's what I was saying. I'm pretty sure that's what, like, in butter, what browns is, is the milk solid. So, technically, you should be able to brown anything like that. But I would just imagine it's a lot harder to do. Um, in milk, because, you know, there's all the water around it, and, uh, anytime water's touching something, it's impossible to, for it to go over 212 degrees, or water, anything submersed in water, it's impossible to have go over 212 degrees, because, you know, boiling water takes the energy away from it. Um, but since the milk solids are touching the bottom of the pan, Patrick's screwed. How's he not in the water, though? Anyways, um, so yeah, that's that's why, like, I don't know, I just imagine it's really hard to do in, in milk, but it, it happened for us, and it's it's good. Uh, what does browning even do? Browning, uh, it's the Maillard reaction, right? The the, the browning does, it, it does something to the proteins that just make it taste good, basically, yeah, really good. Like Noodle said, makes it taste really freaking good, dude, that's what browning does. <laughs> Now, there's definitely a more scientific explanation than just hey, uh, brown stuff, good taste. But like that's that's all I got. Also, I did not expect to get all the way over here. Um, this is how we're just gonna have to end every round now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that's why you see your meat. Yeah, cause brown stuff tastes good, man. You you toast thing. You toast uh to or wait. Uh, wait, who, okay, well, Patrick's dead because I just jumped in the water. Who's still alive? Oh, wait, do we need to collect all the stuff? 
before the game ends? Um, you toast bread. No, you toast toast. What do you mean? It's toast and raw toast. I don't see what you guys aren't understanding here. Anyways, why hasn't the round ended? Oh god, we're dead. We died. We lost. I don't... I, 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 we killed them all. I guess maybe the goal wasn't to kill them in this one, but to collect the stuff. I'm very confused. I've never played Worms where the goal isn't just kill everyone. So I'm actually really lost here, guys. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Optijack definitely toast toast. See, see, that's what you do, man. You toast your toast, okay? You don't double toast. See, brown stuff tastes good is all you knew. Uh, my yard reaction. Uh, why does it taste good? The reason the Maillard reaction is so important to making food tasty is because it signals two things that make human mouth water. The food is likely harmless because it's been cooked and nutritious because it contains proteins and sugars that we need. So basically, we evolved to think brown things taste good. That's that's the <laughs> that is really the whole definition that it gave me there. That's 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 all it gave me was it tastes good because it tastes good. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> it's the same reason like with with caramels and stuff because it's it's sugars and proteins are what can brown right. Um, and and we humans tend to like both brown but neither burnt which also makes sense because uh burnt things like actually burnt things generally can we just poke this guy right into the water we could probably fire punch him into the water uh anyways uh burnt things generally contain carcinogens so you wouldn't want to eat like a bunch of really burnt stuff so you can... but uh it wasn't enough to kill him or knock him in the water at least he might be dead okay that was exactly enough um but you know brown things i guess yeah just be like hey this is safe to eat it's been cooked have fun dude to say goodbye. you know <laughs> kind of like how cats can't taste sugar because they have no evolutionary reason to they don't they, they don't need sugars to live so uh cats can't taste sugar i i suppose maybe it's related to that in some way wait how do we get to that one we're gonna have to unlock a whatchamacallit is the only way to do it. A uh Okay, so we know this one we wanna shoot like around here-ish. A uh uh ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, that was too high. <laughs> what the hell was it called? Uh jetpack. We're gonna have to unlock a jetpack or something, I guess, to get that one over there. I'm just at a loss here. I don't know. I still don't know why why we died, to be honest. You finish your Alfredo soup is a pretty good mistake. I'm glad you liked it, man. That's all that really matters, right? That's true of any cooking. Do you like it? Yeah, awesome. You did a good job. <laughs> you know, like, just for real, though. All right, uh, Dennis, or Jagget, I mean. Oh, wait, we still got to deal with Dennis up there. We should probably be, like shouldn't be i mean all up in uh jagged's grill here but uh i'm in a fire punching mood you know what we should do though we should grab that first <laughs> and then we should go up here and uh screw up jagged's whole day can we move over just a little bit please hi jagged buddy old pal what how did we miss we were right on top of him we must have I, he moved a little bit whenever we got What's close to him. We must have pushed him. That is annoying as shit, dude. I'm so mad right now. We're going to be screwed. We're going to get screwed as hell. All right. Uh, Maybe. So we shot too high. Let's shoot like right here this time. Going for, for good old boggy Pete. Um, If we keep that up, we're not even going to be able to get over there, though. So that's good. That is a toe. Those aren't toes. They're worms. We're going to end up losing this twice in a row. And it's not even going to be my fault this time. Or the first time. Uh, okay. We must be out of cluster bombs. I can just prod him though. 
That looks like water. Can I just prod you like right into it? Why didn't that one work? This is this game's te t t cheating. It's screwing up my stutter. I can't even talk now because <laughs> the game is cheating so hardcore. I'm so mad, man. We did so well the first time, which is what makes it even worse. It was like we did a really good job with it, and now we're just getting fucked left and right. Get good, yeah. Come, come, get good for me, man. Show me, show me how it's done, cause I feel like you ain't gonna do no better. <laughs> Stop. I have a death ray pointed at Earth, you know. Boggy Pete has a death ray pointed at Earth, apparently. You're not gonna go for the dude that's literally like touching you. That was weird. Um, like I really, I don't wanna. I guess, I guess we'll shotgun him. I don't want to like Keep your eye on me. use up. How did that do 11 damage to me? What is <laughs> this? Is this our kid? hmm? I'm starting to like worms less by the minute. I'm just, just saying. David would have had at least three keyboards broken at this point. David is a friend of ours that uh, rage quits a little, or rages in general a little too hard. For anyone wondering, uh, maybe right here-ish. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> We're really going to have ourselves screwed, man. Uh, yep, that one's gone. He's still alive. Patrick, my man. He's on a camping trip. Yeah, yeah, our buddy David. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was close. Uh, our buddy David is on a camping trip. This is true. Um, okay, we have one bazooka left. We have a landmine, freeze. I don't know what the hell the free does, or freeze does. I guess we could like increase the timer on the hand grenade to five seconds, drop it right here, and then just run the hell away. Oh, now he gets knocked in the water, really? That's what I've been trying to do this whole damn time. He can't swipe any Tiggy's brother. Your brother, I mean. I don't know if I want to go camping with David. <laughs> I don't know why. That just sounds kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, something. I just know something bad's going to happen if I went camping with David. Uh, okay. Ian, we're coming for you, mate. Uh, right above your name tag. We're going to aim right there. That's going to be our reference point on where to aim. Okay, so just a little bit higher. Oh, we did four damage. I feel like you would torture him the whole time. I would not, man. Ow. Uh, we're alive, though, so... I hate to tell you this. Oh, we're out of things, though. That's... That's not good. Um, okay, can we climb up that tree without falling in the water? No, oh God. This is... Okay, we're good. We're fine. Everything is fine. How do I get up there? <laughs> Did we ever figure out for sure if physics are enabled here or not? I guess not. <laughs> Cause that tree be floating, dude. <laughs> All right, so we have we have a couple problems. For one thing, we have a homing missile. I'm sorry, we're we're out of a uh, rocket launchers to to shoot over here. We can use the homing missile to get Ian. Maybe if we don't get screwed by it again. This time, what I'm thinking is maybe just shoot straight up in the air. I think what happened was it was too, like, going back and forth and didn't come down on him enough, I think is the problem. Uh, that worked. Water. Yep. Dunzo. Okay. So we just got the one dude left, but we still have to figure out... Oh, sorry. Two dudes. We got the guy floating in a tree. But we still got to figure out how to actually finish the round because apparently killing them isn't enough. Walking next to a lake, you'd probably push him in. A muddy hill, you'd probably push him down it. Get separate tents, probably let a bird loose in his. What? Who lets a bird loose in someone's tent? Uh, okay. 
Dennis. I, the one problem with the, the darts... Oh, I missed. <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll actually kill. Last time it took him down to like one health and then let him, let him go. Zip tie his zipper so he can't get back out of it. I would probably do that. That sounds funny. I now have four chickens, four ducks, and four cows and start to hell yeah, dude. Let a rat loose in it. Look, no one here is going to understand that reference. <laughs> okay, uh, where we're trying to get Boggy Pete. Can we get over there? I guess we're going to have to try and go over there. Get you a void chicken. They're cute. Yeah, you should do that. Um, so like the void chicken, you got to either get lucky and get one kind of forced upon you. <laughs> so I know, I don't know how lucky you would call that. Um, or you can uh, buy one from a certain NPC. I'm not going to tell you who the NPC is because spoilers. Um, but yeah, there is, there is an NPC that you can find. Uh, What's this one? I don't even know if that was the right direction. No, that was back towards Dave. <laughs> I just panicked and threw stuff. Go ahead and tell them. The the uh, Optijack there has a uh, head cannon that David, the David that he knows, has inappropriate relations with uh, with with rats. Um, that's that's why he's making that face. <laughs> Okay. Let's not miss this time, maybe. It's not a cannon. You, it, really, it's not? I thought for sure it was a real cannon. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's not a head cannon. It's, it is cannon. I mean, you can say that, but I, I, there's a part of me that just doesn't believe it is. <laughs> Don't blow up the bridge. I need the bridge, please. <laughs> Uh, you're guessing that the NPC has to do with the Shadow Man in winter? Yes. I'll give you the... Uh, they blew up the bridge. So it may be literally impossible to win. I don't... Uh, I, I honestly don't know what to do here, man. Is this really the best you have to offer? Like we killed, we killed them all once. So I don't know at this point what goodbye. else to do here. We just gotta hope for the best, I guess. Maybe we just need to survive like one extra round after killing all of them or something. I don't know, man. Where is Dennis? Dennis is really like hiding up in this tree, isn't he? And there's no way for me to even get up there right now. I guess just try and cluster bomb him. Yep, that's 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 all I'm gonna be able to do is just keep doing that. I mean, okay, four damage, just keep doing that, and that might be enough. What's that's the only thing I can think of. Those New York rats are so huge because they're half human. Are you saying that your buddy created all of the large rats in New York? That seems like a, a hard thing to believe. I'm not gonna lie. What's this one? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. Get fucked, Boggy Pete. I don't think that was enough, Choose though. Action, yeah, those cluster Jeff. bombs really don't do it much damage, man. Best. Took him down to one, and I think it's going to leave it at one. I don't think it'll take it any farther. Um, oh, it's not my turn. I was like, why can't I move? Oh, that's not good for us. We still have our platform, though. We're fine. Everything is fine. Oh, shit. He only did one damage. He hardly even touched us. Okay, I really don't want to go in the water, though. If at all possible. Uh, okay, yep, we're fine. Where art thou, one health wonder? One second bomb, please. Throw What's it like that-ish. That, that's just one of those bombs. Just got to get close to him. I think that did it. Yes, get screwed, Dennis. <laughs> What is he doing? Is he... Dennis Smith their demise? Well, whatever. Resistance He's dead. That's all that I care about. Oh, God. Patrick is slowly losing everything he has to stand on. Um... Okay. Foggy Pete. Just 
throw it like over there ish and then hope the bombs do something really oh that cart's a lot farther away from boggy pete than is i realized really like you have to offer the resistance is futile i thought he was a okay there goes patrick um I mean, we don't have like any other weapons or anything we don't have any way as far as i know we can't get over there period unless we get a jet pack so is that a jetpack? Like, I'm very confused on what to do here. All right, it's me and you, Boggy Pete. Let's see who can out cluster bomb the other. Uh, I'm guessing three seconds. Okay, three seconds was too much. Throw it exactly the same, <laughs> but just really cut the, the timer down by two, water. maybe? Uh, I mean, I guess we could maybe decrease it a little bit, too. Like, not throw it quite as far. Mm, the NPC's a little more accurate than me. That's scary. Okay, so two seconds. Take it to the right a little bit. Actually, these don't seem to be that affected by wind. So just like that. Yes! Oh, no, that looks so good. Did we even hurt him? I think really we completely missed. We did. Water. He's, like, in the perfect spot, man. That is rough. Okay. Because he's got that, like, fence hanging out in front of him and shit. That was direct hit. Dave's dead. He's dead. Yep, that was 26 damage. That is rough, dude. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you, love. I'm really confused on that one. Like, we did so well the first time. And, like, I'm, I, we can beat it again. I'm not that worried about that. But I don't know what to do the only thing i can think is maybe we do have to try and rush to that crate on the right and then that'll be a jetpack so we can get the other one that's the only thing i can think of we have actually we kind of need to take a break now because i planned on ending at like 1 30 maybe tonight because you know 12 hour stream tomorrow but uh, yeah, okay. We're going to pause. We're going to pause. We're going to go ahead and take a few minute break, just three to five minutes uh, so we can run the ad and I can, you know, stand up, get a drink. I suggest you all do the same and then we will be back, guys, with uh, trying to figure out what the hell we're doing in this game. BRB. Well, still don't know what the hell to do with those then. Just uh, ignore that for now. All right. We're still missing one more cog. We needed three, it seemed like, to get through that area. Over here at the mine. So we're missing something somewhere. Is there... Shoot the pots in the practice zone to obtain a cog. In the practice zone. Shoot the cog... The pots in the practice zone. Shoot? How do you shoot things? Oh! Oh! What was that? Okay, so we can... We can sneak... We can control just the camera. Very nice. We can... Is this like a run button or something? No, okay. But this is a, a sneak button. And then when we're sneaking, we can do a, a big jump. And then we can also use the shield to kind of ground pound. Very cool. Okay, shoot the pots in the practice zone to obtain a cog. Do we have a map or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Can't help but notice that our orbs have gone down too. The little orb thingies that we've collected, right? Because they were up in like the 50s. Is that because we died a couple times? Is that why they're lower? Or, huh? What if we jump and then pound that? Hey, there we go. Okay, so that's how we break those. We have to use the the shield slam thingy to break them. Very nice. We can handle that, I think. Get another heart. Fill up our heart container. Why not? All right, so I guess we got to find... What? We needed five, I think? Keys to unlock that thingy up there? So we need to find the rest of those chests. So let's go take a look. I'm really hoping that in the next uh, hour-ish that we get the ability to fly in the spaceship. I feel like we probably won't. That's probably something that happens later in the game. But 
I hope I'm wrong, though. Because that's the one feature of the game I'm most excited for, to be honest. The ability to just hop in a spaceship and then fly into outer space. And explore and whatnot. It just seems really cool to me. Again, especially since it's the PS2 era, you know? Being able to do that on a PS2 game, of all things. And then just seeing the way that the world will kind of like fade in and out the closer you get and farther away you get and all that right because that's the sort of thing like on the ps3 or 4 or whatever that's taken a little bit more for granted but as far as i'm aware there's no other ps2 games that have done that sort of thing there's another cog up there uh as far as i can tell there's no way to get into it though so this here's the training area i'm guessing with all of the pots that were up top there can we can we walk up here nope we cannot okay what is this hint pot shoot the pots and mines on the ledge to obtain a cog you will need to use the first person camera mode to shoot the pots to use first person mode press either l3 button or r3 button and use left analog stick okay so this is the shooting element of the game very well oh no how do we how do we shoot now? Oh, okay, so we're in the mode. Triangle doesn't shoot. Square doesn't shoot. Okay. Hello, hello everyone. Uh I terrible at this. I should really do this before we take breaks instead of after, because I have no idea if everyone's back from their break. But whatever, it's too late. We're back from the break now. So, we just... Quick announcement. Again, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, whatever, the 22nd, something like that. I don't know. We are doing a 12-hour stream from 12 p.m. my time to 12 a.m. my time. We will be playing a few different games. Uh, those are, and the order of them are, let me check here, a random PS2 game like we do all the time. Nothing new there. Stardew Valley deepest sword speed runs uh that's a game that i used to have a pretty high time in but i haven't played in quite a while haven't had the time to keep up with it so i have no idea if our speed run is going to be any good of it but we're gonna we're gonna try rim world really fun game mario odyssey and fable i uh, will be playing each game for slash category for roughly two hours of course there will be breaks and things in there but we'll be playing each one for roughly two hours and if nobody's noticed, each of those are categories from the poll that I put up besides the JRPG. I didn't put a JRPG one in there just because we've streamed JRPGs a couple times already. So I was like, eh, I think we can skip that one. Everyone kind of knows what it's like watching uh, me play a JRPG on stream. Uh, but the other ones are games that we haven't necessarily really got to mess around with. I guess we have Stardew, but not so much Solo, right? This would kind of be me just playing, most likely, unless, like, Noodle's available or something, then maybe the, uh, she will be too. I don't know. Anyways, point is, so that before we go into round two of the poll that's currently running, we can, or, well, everyone can get a little bit of a chance to see what it's like watching the different games so they can have a more informed decision on that poll. Because, of course, the second announcement, for anyone who hasn't heard, we are going to be upping the streams a little bit. We're going to be streaming a little bit more than we are right now. Um, not a ton more, just a couple hours a week more. Uh, but we're going to use that extra time to do something different. So we're running a poll to see what everyone would like. There's a few different categories. If you haven't already uh, done it, let me know. I can give you a link to the poll, but I think most people have already done it already. And uh, yeah, so the categories are going to be things like sim and management games, um, JRPGs, Nintendo games, uh, da -da -da, Western RPGs. Like there's, there's all different fun kinds of fun categories that we're going to be messing around with so yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be fun we're gonna we're gonna mess around with all of that i still don't know which one's gonna end up winning the initial poll does show a clear uh preference in one direction but that could change going into round two and three so i have no idea i'm okay with whichever one wins i do have a couple that i kind of hope you know get get higher than the other ones but 
if they do awesome if they don't that's fine too man i like all of those categories of games otherwise i wouldn't have uh, put them on the poll you know what i mean so <laughs> also that was a good throw dude I was expecting that was challenge. right on patrick's really face man one. but he looks so sweet yes he does noodle but no anyways so yeah that's uh i think that was pretty much it for the announcements oh there was one other thing i don't know if they're here or not but thanks to the donation that we got the other day um as well as just all of your guys's continued support i was able to pick up a another ps2 game one that has been uh asked for once or twice that being sly cooper the thievius raccoonus i don't have it in hand yet because i actually i bought it offline but it's on its way and uh that is all thanks to to you guys so seriously thank you for that and uh i hope you look forward to watching sly cooper because i know i am looking forward to playing it at the very least i really like sly cooper so yes thank you thank you thank you and uh rue i'm sorry you gotta go man have a good night and again thank you because again i would not have been able to buy that game when i did if it weren't for your support dude so thank you thank you thank you Okay, we are just beelining it over to here. Be oh, God, we're going to go in the water. Why sometimes do we jump so far and other times we hardly jump at all? What is up with that? Like, that was that was a baby jump. That wasn't even a jump. That was, that was a hop. <laughs> a skip? That was a skip, okay? That was trash. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, Night Rue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was getting a, was getting a little too angry at the, the game. Uh, thank you again, and have a good night, dude. Seriously. Oh, don't do a big jump here. We'll we'll take damage, and then we'll be stuck right there in the middle of the bridge. Uh, anyways. Thank you, Mr. Noodle, for the one bit. <laughs> I appreciate it, love. Seriously. It's, uh, I'm kind of... It's just a little bit thrown by the by the one bit. We're gonna... We're gonna... Okay, well, this is our home now. Um, there's no way we can get out of here. We don't have... <laughs> we're screwed there's there's literally nothing we can do here man like we can't run anywhere like <laughs> uh, is there a there's a quit i don't really want to quit but i think we're just gonna have to quit and uh like start it over or something because we can't jump that high we don't have we don't have any sort of like rope or or jetpack or anything i mean i guess we can use this steel girder to give us a platform to try and jump on, maybe. There we go. Okay, that might work. Do we only get one steel girder, or do we get a bunch? Because if we get a bunch, maybe that's uh, something we could have used before. No, we only... Yeah, we only get one. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just doing a mad dash trying to get over to that other box the one that it shows us on the map the one that i'm assuming we need to collect to beat this level oh my why are we jumping so tiny all of a sudden do the big jumps oh don't fall in the okay boggy pete hi boggy pete how are you bud i have a request for you boggy pete get fucked <laughs> okay we're gonna we're just gonna hide here until the next turn. I'm hoping this other one will be a jetpack and we'll be able to grab the other thing, and then once we grab the other thing, we'll just be that'll be it. We'll be done. It seems like honestly, I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems like in this game it's the opposite of most games where if you hold the square button or whatever the jump button is, you do like high jumps. And instead, you do, like, only little tiny jumps if you hold it. Infinite jetpack is what we just got. For real? Holy shit, and it's a 100 one, too? Okay, yeah, so... Come on, then. Thank you. Mission complete. That's, that's seriously all we had to do. We spent all that time murdering everyone, and we didn't even need to. We just needed to freaking collect the boxes. I'm so mad. It probably said that somewhere, and I'm just an idiot. I'm sure, but my lord. Hey, do you want to buy me a tiny TV that plays scenes from Jurassic Park? That's all it does? The that's the TV? It just plays scenes from Jurassic Park? I mean, I guess that's kind of cute. Mission success.
This graveyard is home to some very wealthy corpses buried along with their valuables. We've decided it's time these treasures weren't earth for all to share. And you're just a worm for the task. Beware, only four of the graves high treasure while the others spell certain doom. Okay, so this time I'm assuming we need to just dig up the graves. Things that you probably shouldn't be saying on stream. Anyways, I'm assuming we just need to dig up the graves and not so much kill everything. Again, again, you know, I think it has a special objective, not the not not the usual kill everything objective. It has a tiny working remote too. That's cute. But it doesn't play the whole movie, just the top scenes. Hmm. How much is this uh little TV noodle? That's uh that's the real question here. Is it like a two thousand dollar TV, or is it like three dollars, <laughs> like twenty seven? That doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Twenty seven dollars, but I don't know. Um, okay, so we spawn with no weapons at all. There's a couple crates. It did show us that that we might be able to get a hold of uh, with some good jumps. Ugh. Thank you. One times grenade to dig a grave. Set a grenade with a high fuse time. Drop it directly in the center of the grave. Be sure to retreat to a safe distance. Okay. Is there a way for us to know which one we actually... Also, why did we only get one grenade? I don't know, guys. Um, I guess we'll do... I like the moon. Anyway, I guess we'll do this one. And hope for the best. Fire! What could be inside? Phew. Okay, wait. Does that mean it was a good one? It was a treasure? Wait. Oh, it's a health pack. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Comes with a little TV backdrop to put behind your TV, too. Uh, okay, hold on. So, yeah, so we're out of we're out of grenades. So, oh, we have to just go around and collect a bunch of them. Okay, were they all? There's a couple over there. I don't like the idea of going all around this water though, to be honest. But we're already over here, so I guess I guess that's what we're gonna do. I'm sure it'll be fine. Each tiny TV comes with a remote that really works. That's right. Use your remote to turn your tiny TV on. Sit back and enjoy the channel. Surfing from scene to scene. The thrills never end. Wow. I'm convinced. 10 out of 10. Best TV. That's probably going to hurt. That was dumb. I mean, at least it never, like, goes to the next turn. Because, you know, you want it. <laughs> I mean, you do have money, Noodle. You are allowed to buy whatever you want with your money. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, seriously, now's the time to do a big jump. Thank you. Thank Would have been really sad if it didn't do a big jump. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Big freaking jump, dude. Hell yeah. You go, what's my name? Doesn't say. Um, This grave kind of scares me. But we're going to throw one here and hope for the Watch best. This one. What could be it's Am I poisoned? Oh, good. I'm poisoned. Dave is feeling ropey. That's great, man. Watch this one. Is it going to be the same like every time? Like whenever we have to redo this one, should we be memorizing which one's which? Treasure. Oh, it's a health pack. Okay. Thank you. Plus five health. I'm pretty sure we took more than five damage, though. Or no, we only took one from the fall. Oh, that also seemed to get rid of our poison, which is actually very handy. Um, okay, so we did the back three, I guess. Yeah, and they were none of them were the ones we needed, at least. Let's try this one. Watch this one. Maybe. I have some explaining to do. I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Uh oh. Be careful. Wait, what am I being careful of? Oh, it's a giant hole. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. I'm not worried about the hole. How many are left? One, two, three. 
four. Did I really do like, or no? Yeah, four. Did I really do all of the wrong ones first? <laughs> like, I'm confused, man. Or is the whole goal to just unlock the, the health packs? Is that, is that all the treasure we need to win? I honestly don't know. This is a neat idea for a game mode, though. Like, I'm glad they took the time to add a single-player mode to this. And uh, they did it, like, in a way that honestly is kind of interesting. Because, I mean, it's very much meant to be a multiplayer game, you know? The whole Worms thing is. So, I don't... I honestly don't know how I would have turned it into a single-player possible game. And it's... I can't think of a better way to do it either than what they've done here. So, like, props to props to uh, Team 17 or whoever made this specific Worms game. It's, uh, it's good. They did good stuff with it, man. Thank you. Okay, now the struggle is going to be just getting back over there in one piece. As long as we don't suddenly get a small jump again, I think we'll be okay. Oh no, what'd you do? I have no idea. Literally, I have no idea what they're talking about. Apparently, I'll find out after the stream. Um, okay, one problem is, how do I get back up from here? I don't think I can jump that high. Yeah, no, my, I guess maybe try and jump. Oh, nope, we're dead. Worm down. <laughs> we can no longer continue with this mission. Yep. Uh, can we skip the cutscene? Yeah, we can. Cool. Thank you. Mission failure. Yeah, I know. Try again. So, yeah. I think... I guess we'll try those four closest one f first. Because if any of those four closest ones have something special in it, then we know that... It's, uh, like there's something special to actually collect. If all we find are health packs in those four closest ones, then we know that our goal is just to get the four health packs. Unless, of course, it is randomized, but I don't know. He has been withholding information from me? I literally have no idea what the hell you're talking about. There's two, and then we'll get this one down here. And then I actually, I'm going to wait for that one, I think, until like the very end, because I honestly don't know how to get that one and then to get back over to, to the rest of it. Stupid. Come on, get, 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 move. Thank you. Oh my God, don't fall again, please. There we go. We're Gucci. Everything is fine. Was there one on top of the houses? I don't think there was. Houses, buildings, whatever the hell these things are. I don't think there was any up there. Get on the tree branch. Hell yeah, dude. And then big jump. Yes, let's go. Okay. So that's, that's four, I think. Yeah, that's four. So in theory... That's all we need. Uh, also, we forgot to set our fuse time a bit higher. Oh, God. Uh, run away. <laughs> so, okay. So, I don't think... Hey, Psycho, thank you so much for the resub, man. Appreciate you. Uh, I don't think that was a good one to blow up. That one looks empty. Let's try this one, I guess. I'm a little worried after <laughs> getting rained uh, on by landmines. Yeah, I'm really starting to think we're just uncovering health packs. Our goal is just to unlock them all, is what I'm starting to think, honestly. Is that close enough to the center to count? It is, thankfully. Oh, nope. That wasn't a good one. You thought Worms was a tower defense game? There may be a tower defense version of Worms, but I don't know, honestly. There's Worms Golf. There's Worms... WMD is the one I usually play, which is like a 2D... Um, 2D physics kill each other type game. This is the same thing, but in 3D. 
and it has this single player mode, which I've never played Worm single player, period. But anyways, it has this single player mode where you uh, have different missions that you're trying to do, including grave robbing, apparently, because, <laughs> you know, why not? So, yeah, right now we're just trying to get all of these graves open for whatever reason. I mean, I, we were told they had treasure in them, but so far the only treasure we've actually found has been some health packs. And if we weren't, you know, risking our lives blowing up graves with grenades, then I don't think we would actually need any health packs. So I'm not sure this was really a smart mission on the worms part, but hey, they're worms. I guess you can't expect too much from... That was a tiny hop. Thank God we didn't die. Oh... Sometimes the game doesn't want to jump, man. <laughs> like, sometimes it jumps just fine. Other times it hardly wants to move. It's a real pain in the ass. Okay. We're good. I th Was it in here? Do we have to go in the building? Um. Oh, nope. Okay, that was a weird face worm. Where is the other one? There's another one around here somewhere that's not down bottom there. Is it on top of the building? No, it's right there. Okay. So we don't want to go back down there if we don't have to. That's where we died last time because we couldn't get out of the freaking back there. Okay, big jump, please. Thank you, Worm. Thank you. I don't know if that grave, the, the landmine blew up, counts as being open. It's definitely open, but I don't know if it counts. Same with, like, this one here, right? Like, I can get that health pack. But does that count as being open? Oh, it said only one more left to find, so I guess it does. That was also kind of a dumb move. We could have... Oh, God, we can still die. Please get out. Okay, um, I think this one is the last one. One benefit of having played this mission before, I guess. We kind of know where stuff is. Hey, There we go. So that was a interesting mission. Something a little bit different, I guess. Instead of just killing each other, you know? I do wonder what the next one's going to be. Since you're still streaming, I'm going to go ahead and get a shower. Okay. Go ahead, love. Oh, we haven't saved in a while. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yes. Save that up. overwriting data i kind of hope the next one is just a normal kill everything kind of one but like i'm not holding my breath either disaster mate we've been ambushed by boggy pete and his henchmen and worse our operation faces a washout as his henchmen have turned the tap on take care of those henchmen while making your way upwards to avoid the water I'm sure you can find one or two goodies to help you on the way water way to go okay <laughs> that's sure whatever so this one, okay, yeah, this one sounds like it's just a kill everything one, but don't get swallowed by the water in the meantime, which makes sense. Honestly, I got it. Who do we got here? We got Morris, there's me, Patrick. My, okay, so we actually have a lot of people, but so do they. And Whistler is like way up top there. That's kind of who, if possible, it's kind of who I want to get rid of first. Uh, that's going to be a hard one to aim. I should have looked at what other weapons we had. Oh, I thought we actually got him for a minute. Well, we hit him, I guess, but didn't really do any damage or anything. He just fell a tiny bit maybe i don't know what a, oh teleport i wonder if we have teleports also can't help but wonder how much is the water gonna move up every time so far it doesn't seem that bad okay we got holy hand grenades which are very powerful but doesn't do you any good if they don't hit anything um let's just go ahead and try to murder some people in the meantime uh, we should actually be okay with where we're at, but we do need to start moving up. Yeah, see all of these worms that are down low? It's not going to end too well for them. 
In fact, it looks like we're already in second place. Yeah. Human team's definitely lower now. And I think we started in the lead. They have jetpacks? They have jetpacks and teleporters. How is this fair? <laughs> Why'd you teleport over there? I would have teleported on top of the... Uh, don't fall in the water. Please don't fall in the water. Thank you. Oh, one time teleport. Yes. I will take that. I will aim it. I want to go inside this shovel. Scramble, scramble. Yes. That is actually exactly where I want to be. That seems like a pretty decent place. I just hope the AI is not good enough to to hit, knock me out of there. Because I feel like that'll be an area that's pretty easy to get knocked out of. But at the same time, like, at least it's high up. Oh, Patrick, you're not looking so good, mate. Um, I also don't see any way to get you out of danger, Mike or Patrick. I think you're both screwed. I'm not going to lie, man. Yeah, I don't think we can... Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, do we have, like... We have the, the fire punch thing. Okay. Jump. Big jump, please. Thank you. Don't take damage. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, it wasn't enough to knock him off. I was really hoping to knock him off entirely. But, I mean, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Look out, the water's rising literally every turn. Patrick. Not Patrick. That's it. Check who's, out. who's he going for? Oh, I think he's going for the guy that I just used over there. Um, okay, so if we're already using this guy again, that means we are, like, out of people, essentially. Does he have anyone else really high up? Boggy Pete does. Okay. So that's who we really need to be going for. We're going to aim just over his head and a tiny bit to the right since the air is pointing to the left. Okay, that wasn't terrible, but I mean, it didn't hit. So, who are you going for? Oh, that guy. That was a pretty good shot on Mike, not going to lie. All things considered, that was... <laughs> oh, oh, Mike. Um... Okay. If Mike stays here, he's dead. So Mike actually just needs to GTFO. I was gonna I was gonna fire punch that dude again and try to, you know, kill him. But honestly, we just need a skedaddle, dude. Okay. Uh do we have infinite bazookas? We don't. We have infinite grenades. Isn't there a guy like right below me here? Can I Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> Maybe if we had set a shorter timer. Oh, no, he's still alive. I thought the water would increase enough. Uh, that worked well for you, Mr. Whistler, sir. And now you're dead, so GG. Okay. I think we were a little too low. So we're going to go up a little bit more. Up a little bit more. Try something like this. Come on. Oh, that's so close. Okay. I think if Boggy Pete doesn't take us out, I think we got him, man. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess whoever this guy is. Nope. Nope. Nice try, dude. Not even close, though. So everyone else is pretty close to the ground. Um, okay, we need to save the bazookas, though, is the hard part. I don't really understand how the mortar works, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but we need to get, like, you out of here. Do you not drop as much, maybe, mortar? What is... Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember when me and my brother were messing with it. It seems to basically be a full power uh, rocket launcher. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Oh, and it explodes multiple times whenever it hits. Cool. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. 
I don't care about the water rising right now if we can just get rid of Foggy Peat. So we know the height's good. Well, actually, we want just a tiny bit more height, and there's no wind, so just get it right over top of him. Fire! Go for it, man. Y yes! Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> I got overly excited. I thought that took him all the way down to the water, but no. He got caught on something. Oh, the spout or whatever the hell that is. Ah, oh, dude. And he's getting close. <laughs> Morris is not looking good. Okay, where is everyone? Boggy Pete's over there. Oh, wait, is everyone else dead? Is it just Boggy Pete left? Oh. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's move a little bit. Not too far, though. Maybe something like... Something like this. I'd rather kind of hit the thing up behind him. Or just miss entirely. That's fine, too, I guess. Why not? That's annoying. Okay. Do we have a girder? Because if we can just keep ourselves alive, we win, basically. Assuming that the water keeps rising forever. We do have a girder. Um, can I place it here or like, oh, can I like flip it? I can move it up and down. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just like that. Actually, you know what? And then move it down a little bit so I can try and jump on it if I want to. And get even higher. Uh, how did I move it up again? Okay, yeah, that's that's fine, I guess. It's maybe not quite where I wanted it, but it's something. I was waiting for, like, a god-tier shot to just knock me out. Oh, there goes Mike. Okay. Honestly, though, like I said, if the water is going to keep rising, I think we're fine either way. But I will try, anyways, to throw a grenade over there Fire! five seconds is way too long i should have done like two or three or something oh that was like really high so maybe a little bit softer of a throw Time as well he's trying to come from the top that was closer than i really would have liked <laughs> honestly that was pretty pretty good on his part all right uh let's try like two seconds same exact throw, but a little bit more gently. Now there's a lot of air resistance this time, so okay. So we're gonna need we're gonna need at least three yeah. seconds, probably three or four. Time to say goodbye. Come on, please tell me the water's still rising. It is. It's getting pretty close to. Him. Oh no! He actually got us. Holy Just shit! Okay. Um, who's higher right now? I'm still higher, but not by a lot, man. We basically got to get him here or hope that he gets really unlucky. Watch this one. Oh, the wind was slightly going to the right. I didn't realize that. Switch oh, the eggs. water didn't raise enough. Please, no, dude. That one, okay, that one was fun. That was fun. That was a fun match. I'm really mad that we lost it, but what are you going to do, I guess? This is actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be in single player. I'm not going to lie. I'm totally going to end up playing more of this game, man. Whether it's on my own or on stream, I don't know yet. But we're definitely playing more of this. That's that's some good stuff, dude. Worms 3D, 5 out of 7. Would play again. Hell yeah. Anyways, though, guys. Uh, we're ending it just a little bit early tonight. Because for anyone who doesn't know, I am doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. We are playing all kinds of things. Uh, Rim World, Stardew Valley, Deepest Sword Speedruns, Mario Odyssey, Fable, doing all different kinds of things of tomorrow. And that's starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So I don't know what that is for all of you guys. But yes, if you want to come and join, I would love to see you guys there. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I do really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do all this crazy stuff that I do. Oh, and just for... One last time before we go, let me send out the link for the poll in case anyone hasn't done it and wants to do the poll for uh, whatever new category we're going to add to our streaming schedule. 
So there is the link for that. Uh, Nate, so my character for Red's campaign can run on walls and ceilings silently and attack eight times in one turn with Axe and Surge. I mean, I guess when, you know, you have a level 20 character, you're going to do level 20 BS, you know? <laughs> I can't I can't really be too surprised there. It sounds pretty badass, though. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me again. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. The other buttons don't shoot. Oh, we can just do a regular, like, pound with our feet whenever... Oh, okay, so that's what the little, the little, like, uh, weird-looking thingy that we picked up. The little triangle thingies. They are our shooty ability. <laughs> okay. I can see what people were talking about now with the game doing a little bit of everything, but not being a master at anything. I can definitely see where people are coming from there. Because, yeah, I mean, there is, so far, none of the mechanics have been, have felt amazing, right? The, the moving around on the little overhead platforms is a little iffy. There's no reticule or anything, so this jumping feels pretty weird. I'm sorry, not jumping, the shooting feels pretty weird. Oh, yeah. Everything just feels a bit off, right? Space exploration is almost always a win for you. That's one reason you love Mass Effect series, even Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, I mean, from what I've heard, I mean, don't get me wrong. The first Mass Effect loved it besides some of the ground exploration stuff got a little old by the end of the game. But, like, I really enjoyed Mass Effect as well. A lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. And from what I've heard, Mass Effect Andromeda is not a bad game, right? Most people agree that it's decent. It just doesn't hold up to the other games in the series. Am I misunderstanding what I've read and heard about the game? Or is that kind of the general consensus there? That's, that's more or less what I've heard. I can't help but notice that our orbs ha seem to be constantly going down. So is it like something to do with... Like, do we need those to live? I don't... I'm a little confused about what those orb thingies that we're collecting, uh, what those are doing. But all right, we got, uh, we collected the cogs. We started the elevator. Let's go. Okay, I think maybe we need to dodge. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be a gameplay section. I thought this was just, you know, riding an elevator section. But hey, you know what? Interactive cutscenes, I'm all for it. Let's go. Can we... Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost a p part of our platform. <laughs> Just completely destroy the mines trying to get down here. Excellent job, Haven. Okay, well. I didn't mean to jump down here. I thought by pressing X we would go back up to the top bit not jump straight down to the bottom so this is going well are you an enemy okay you don't seem to do anything we can ignore